Good morning. It's Wednesday Wisdom on Women of Light Movement and it's midweek and the day after 2022 20, to 22. So um, here we go on, a, on another journey, right? So um, we're here with the beautiful Gisela um, who has got up really, really early for us because she's in birth. So um, Thank you so much. After being on holidays, right? So <laughs> what a way to start back. Yeah. Um, so uh, Gisela and I um, haven't physically met, but we've spoken on the phone a couple of times, not on the phone, on Zoom. And um, and you're an amazing painter. I love that painting that you've got in the background there. <laughs> so um, tell us a little bit about yourself and, and what you do. So you live in Perth. So, well, actually, we're, we're north of Perth. Um, we've actually bought a property, so we're re-vegging and building the dream, so to speak. So now I've actually got a proper studio, like, instead of stealing bits of house away. So um, it's been really good to get people to come up and, and spend time, you know, being creative and um, experiencing um, what creative process could do for for life in general it's an mm. interesting area I think um, absolutely I personally know that because I paint a little bit myself but I've had like it it's um it's a great way to pull out your you know um blocks isn't it because you look at you look at a blank canvas and you go into all the I can't do it I'm not good enough. <laughs> like, what if I ruin it? <laughs> yeah, it, it's the the interesting thing I find is because when I work with people, um, like I've got my I've got a different range of ways of working with people. So sometimes people just want to come and be creative. You know, they're not actually looking to dive into what's going on. So we can, you know, people can go as deep as they want. But it's interesting watching just I find from watching people paint how they approach it how they um even just how they do the brushwork it's it tells you so much about the person and how they approach life mm. it's like which is it, for me it's a really good way of um exploring then with them you know point out sort of like what if you tried something like this and if you're getting frustrated you know and then find the tools that will help them to move past that, like like you said, the, the first thing that anybody comes in with, oh, I can't draw and I can't paint. Um, and, and this is like a key thing that happens to most people because somewhere along the line, we had a, somebody said something when we were a kid. Because like, if you look at kids, they'll just draw whatever and they, they're they quite happy and they're like, yep, yeah, that's a dog. They don't care. Yep, yep, yeah. that's right. They don't <laughs> care how it turns out. Yeah. Yeah, but there's like this really, because this is from te my teaching, you know, high school for many years, it was, um, there's a developmental stage that we go through um, mid-teens where we want, we start to look at things and compare, this is where the comparison starts, we compare, we want it to look exactly, we want to get it right. And then a lot of kids actually put away their stuff. Mm. Go, oh, I can't do it, so I'm not going to do it. You know, and a few people will continue, but a lot of us have little, it's almost like little traumas around somebody said something about my artwork, you know. Yeah. And I've heard horror stories from some of my clients where, you know, you know, teachers actually telling them really horrible things. And it's like, gosh, you know, being in a, in a, as an educator, you're there to support them to grow rather than, you know. Absolutely. And also as a creative, right? If you're an art teacher, you've you've got some sort of creative, or you know, if you're if you're in whatever subject that's got um art in it, you mm. tend to have that creative flair yourself. And to to shun somebody else's creativity. Yeah, but a lot of, um, a lot of the time's not not intentional, but it's it's just something that we pick up and we hold on to that. And then we yeah. explore that creative, and that's why you know people come in and they're like a little bit. I'm going to get it wrong, and it's yeah. Oh, we just play. We're just we're just throwing paint around to start with, and then and then we'll we'll bring it back into something, you know. Yeah, and and that's the thing about painting, isn't it? Like I've I've got some people um, 
or I've had people supporting me throughout my playful journey of of doing art. Um, and one of the things is that if you don't like it, you can paint over it, right? <laughs> like you can just do something else, you know, or just take it all off and, and put white over the top of it again and start again, you know, or pick something else up, you know. So, um, and that's that's um, uh, also when you think about it, something that you can take on for life, you know, like if you don't like it, you can recreate it. You can change it. Yeah. Yeah. And that's one of the key things um, with with the work that I do with, um, you know, the intentional creativity aspect of it is that we come in with the intention of, of changing stories. Um, a lot of the times, like, with, you know, you might use the hypnosis or different, different types of uh, more, I guess, mind stuff to, to work through things. Um, but when we actually put it onto the canvas, we get it out of the body. Mm -hmm. it's like you know I'll, I'll say well we'll put in whatever the thing is that is troubling you like and we don't need to actually go into it because um, I'm finding that more and more it's about not diving back into stuff that's happened but yeah more just acknowledging that it's there yeah and moving past it into where is it where is it that you actually want to be so using the painting almost like a bridge between what is, was, and where we're wanting to be. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And that's that's perfect, right? And so so you do classes or, like, how how does that structure look? Um, well, I do classes that are, are around a lot of the times around archetypes or, like, we'll use um, metaphors for, you know, and they're, they're just over four weeks like generally, or a one or a two day workshop. But then I do with my one on one clients, we actually do some creative stuff as we're going. Um, and it's almost like, well, okay, let's try this. And some people I'll give them, like one client I'm working with at the moment, she hasn't got the space to do like a painting. So we've made a, a journal that she oh, can well, awesome. put things into and paint and scribble and, you know, write things and get someone like you know she's finding she's got to get anger out so we're getting anger out and yeah she's a bit scared it's like well, but I'm feeling and it's like it's okay but you're getting it out which is what we want it, absolutely you don't want it in the body right you want it yeah, you yeah. want it to to release out of the body and so the body can then come back to its balance yeah and it's it's a really safe way to do it mm. you'll only go as far as you you're ready yeah you know it's not like we're going to go and poke and prod stuff to make you know <laughs> re-traumatize right like yeah that's right and so um do you mainly I'm assuming you sort of mainly work um in person but can is this the sort of stuff that you can do online as well or have you done that I'm, I'm working with one client she's in Perth but we're working online so um, yeah it's just more convenient for her so um it seems to work pretty well yeah, yeah. Because generally speaking, you know, we're using like whatever materials whoever's got on hand. You know, I'm not going to go, go and buy all this stuff. If you want to paint and you really want to, you know, dive in and, and have a play, it's still like, okay, well, let's get a few things, not, you know, go out and go crazy. I mean, some people do, they go, they've. I did. I love Cartley and I like, I, I'm not one to wear a lot of color but I love like my daughter and I went to the art shop you know and like, oh my gosh look at that blue you know <laughs> look at that, you know like yeah so we sort of went a bit crazy and and got easels and all sorts of stuff you know but it was stuff that I had up in far north Queensland already that had sold off so um yeah so now I've got a little area in my in my house where whenever I want to paint I just get it all out and and go for it so it's it's um it's very meditative isn't it yeah you can really get into a flow and that, that's the thing we want to get to the point where it's like the 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 critical mind sort of stops at one point or other when you're in there and you you get into this flow and it's just like time just stops mm. um, which is one of the things when I'm doing in-person classes would be like 
all of a sudden it's like, um, okay, ladies, we've got to pack up. <laughs> it's time to go home. And they're like, what? But when did that happen? Yeah, yeah. Uh, can't be that long. And it's like, yeah. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and so um, what do you find, you know, if, if someone would like to explore their creativity and to to do it from a place of releasing emotions, how how do you, you know, frame that? So so they come in and you work with them to find their creativity, I'm assuming? Well, I do. I mean, it's, a, it's, it's an interesting process that I've developed because it's almost like it, it depends on the person. So when somebody comes in, so it's not like um, I go, okay, well, here's the structure, let's go. It's more like what do you need? And yes. it, it does come through, like it, it does come through what people need. So, you know, we do do a range of things. So we do the creative process, but there's also the um, mentoring and the, you know, we'll bring in things like hypnosis or, um, you know, all sorts of different tools and energy work. Mm-hmm. Just, it just really depends on where the person's at and what they need, um, which I think that helps it be a bit more specialized to the person rather than go oh, this this is the, this is the yeah this is yeah. these are the topics and you've got to um set in you know sit yeah. in this yeah you know some people might not be about um you know even though they might they might do the painting but they might just play with color and and just focus on that and the the emotions that are coming out whereas somebody else might really want to, um, you know, connect with their inner self. So we find the the inner self as an archetype and bring that out um, and create that connection. Mm. A lot of it is about reconnecting with your truth of who you are. Yeah. Um, You know, we've got, and getting past that critical mind, which is not necessarily you, like we've got, I find that it's like, um, having two different voices that you have this little quiet voice that, that nudges you towards things that are really good for you and then you've got the other really loud critical voice that goes no you can't do that you're not good enough for that sort of thing yeah and my take on it is that that those two voices are actually one in the same they're just different aspects but because we've not listened to the little voice which was what we were born with which was like yeah, go forward, try this out, do this different thing. Um, the other critical voice has gotten louder and taken control, which is where we, as we start to paint, like when I did um, my intentional creativity training about five years ago, um, even though I've been painting for years and, you know, I've been creative all my life, that little, that strong voice was always there. And it was, it took me to about the third painting and then all of a sudden it was quiet. Oh, wow. That's yeah, awesome. Brilliant. It's brilliant. All of a sudden that voice drops off and you start hearing it more as a discernment. You know, it's like, you know, check this out. You know, it might be a little bit of a, uh, and then you can go, yep, yeah, or no, rather than it's just, oh, I can't because I'm scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and it takes over, right? Yeah, that's right. So do you um, ha- hold um, like group sessions online I'm, I'm just thinking about how many women we've we have got a few people that are in um perth but so many that are on this side of australia too so um if anyone was interested in getting in contact with you how do they go about that um well they can just contact me through um facebook yeah or, um yeah usually that's the easiest way just a message um it's very open to how we work Um, I do I do like to work we're doing generally about an eight-week program or a four-week program Um, I think if you want to just try and test it I'll do this mind mapping process with people so that they can go you know whatever's going on get clear on it and then look at where they can go with it and we use a creative process for that which is really cool Um, but other than that I do like to spend a bit of time with people otherwise it's just one-off things don't seem to do you know they don't actually no they don't I find that with my work as well you've got to you've got to um if you're in you've got to go into to looking at all the depths of what's going on you know like um people can't 
make massive shifts with one experience. No. It's um, it's a journey, yeah. Yeah, I do have some online courses that I've done though for painting. So if people are interested, that's also available. Uh, and and so can you put the details of that um in the comments below once we're finished? Yeah, I can definitely do that. So yeah, um, because they're 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 just straight out even painting, but archetypal ones. So there's one about the, the wisdom, the word, oh, inner wise woman. I've forgotten my language. Um, <laughs> woman is it was a really cool one for reconnecting so we do the painting plus some inner work along the way so you've got journal prompts and things so that that one's kind of cool yeah yeah that's awesome and and it's such a beautiful you know we seem to have been like as a society we're sort of moving out of the let's go you know and and study the mind and and delve into all the pain and trauma again and talk about it for, for years with a psychologist or whatever you know and um we, we're moving as a society into oh there's so much more to us um than just the mind there's the body aspects and there's the the spiritual aspects and when you work with all of them in you know and and bring in the the feminine in of the creativity and the you know like letting go of the logic um we can we can clear so much more, right? We can, or it, it seems to be so much more one fun. <laughs> like it's, it's so much more fun, um, and it seems to have a depth that um, that doesn't necessarily um, uh, mean serious depth, but it's it's got some real impact in your life, you know. Yeah, because and it's and and I think as as a collective really, and especially women, um, you know, as we're getting a little bit older as well, and having challenges and transitions in you know with children leaving or you know change of career and working out, it's like well, what do we actually want, and what we've been presented as being what life is about is is it really what we want, you know? And so, you know, a lot of this is to to get that clear knowing about who it is that you are and who, what it is that you actually want to have in your life and actually go for it. Mm -hmm. and bring that yeah. confidence and get that fire in your belly about, you know, I don't have to go and do this job for the next 20 years until I, and then and then think about living my life. It's like you can live your life now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There's there's definitely an awakening of that narrative that's um that's you know, a lot of people, and especially women, are starting to recognize and and go, oh, wait a minute, have I been asleep? <laughs> like, you know, like, it's, yeah. Yeah. Life, yeah, life, yeah. life is meant to be lived, and you know, if we get stuck in these old ways of thinking and and not just and question things and actually start to dive in, because if you don't change, you know, unless you you make the changes, nothing's going to be different you know you can live a really extraordinary life if you want to mm. it doesn't yeah. have to be one day and it's not it's not that oh you go away and you know have millions of dollars and all that kind of thing it's actually just living in joy in your everyday um, yeah you know with what you've got and and then allowing more of that goodness to come in and and that's where you find the joy I mean the more like once I've moved out of the um the, the job thing with teaching and moved more into this, you know, I'm loving the life I'm creating, you know, even things like going and creating my garden. I mean, we've got a blank slate with this property. So it's like, there's a lot of hard work, but it's like when you start to see it happening and things growing and you've got, you know, your own produce and it's, you know, you've got the land growing around you and you've got, you've got space to go and be creative and you can just, you know, wake up and smile and go, yep, this is cool, you know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's um, it's life in creation, right? Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's beautiful. And just moving in those spaces. Yeah, yeah. And and feel it like I yeah absolutely absolutely it's um it's what makes us smile. <laughs> yeah, and and going not going with the thing that feeling like you need to fix stuff. It's more just bringing in your awareness and so what's happening change it to what you want yeah 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 absolutely 
Thank you so much. It's been fun talking and um, and love for you to put all your details uh, underneath so that we can, and we'll put them into our YouTube channel as well. So if you're watching on YouTube, um, love for you to hit subscribe so that you get a notification when we put anything on. And um, thank you, Gisela. Lovely to, we'll have to check out your website and, and what you're up to. And if anyone wants to get in contact, um, just get in contact via Facebook. And um, we'll catch up soon. Thanks, everyone. Right. Thank you. Take care. You too.